images of the golf swing here. We're gonna be looking at uh, upper body or upper torso tilt. And we're gonna have a look here and give you guys uh, an idea of where exactly that is so that if you're using your apps or the V1 app, for example, you can draw a line down and, and get a great gauge of where you need to be. So Rob, I'm gonna swing this up and it's gonna beep when we get to around 37 degrees. And, and we'll, uh, we'll have a look and, and, and see how that looks. And then we'll get a line down uh, through the shoulders and so that people so, can understand. And so Craig, when you get to the top, this thing will beep if you're in the appropriate corridor here, which is based on what the PGA Tour players have done. But I also have ranges there that are appropriate for the uh, average golfers and senior golfers as well. So. Now some of it is a little different. That's perfect there, 38 degrees. So if we get a line down the shoulders, we can see where that lands in relationship to the ground. Okay, so that's inside the, the PGA Tour average. And it's an interesting point when you, you talk about the senior player. For some of the senior players, it, it's hard to get down to some of these deeper numbers, isn't it, due to flexibility. So guys, right, evidence-based instruction. Have a look at this. Sneed on the right, what a golf swing. Tiger Woods on the left, what a golf swing. We're gonna take a peek here at a couple of PGA, two professionals. We're gonna have a look at a couple of amateur players and then we've got a drill to really help you assemble your swings better at the top, turn better, tilt better, stay centered and get great structure because that's what's gonna slot your downswing so much easier. That's why all these players are in this position. Let's have a look. All right, look at the number here, check this out. With the V1 analyzing software, 41 degrees, which we have just a ridiculous deal on World Class Golf, you can purchase it there. If you remember, having at 41 degrees, don't you think that's remarkable? Now the hip planes obviously matching the shoulder planes, landing on the same place in the ground. But you know, when you're looking at these players, this is nearly quarter, what a golf swing this is. Guys, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Get this, uh, and leave us your comments underneath. Have a look at this for look at this for like. Don't you think that another one at 41 degrees? Where are your numbers? Yeah, anywhere near them. I mean, you've only got one goal swing, you've only got one life. Make sure you're working on the right stuff. Here's Dodge Kemmer, who I teach, who's just at 23 under on the Asian tour. It's not too bad. Won a tournament there a couple of weeks ago, 42 degrees. And then the club players in a completely different position. We're gonna have a look at that now. It's some club golfers. And there's a big, big chance you're in this position. And if you're too far away from these positions, you're not going to play good. I've around 40,000 swings. It's just not going to happen from there. Let's take a peek at that now. And before we move on to a drill that's going to supply you with feels and help you to assemble your swing better at the top, which keeps your head still, your left arm straight, your turns right, picks up your power, you're on the path to playing some better golf. So guys, right, the club players and uh, you're getting to the top, unfortunately, you know, getting themselves in this type of position, a lot of them, or, or you know, we can see this number here, 22 degrees, have a look at this, I've just, I feel around 40,000 swings, and the guys we're testing, 21 degrees, they're just not gonna hit it from the, hit it good from there. You know, you've got the high left shoulder, you're gonna bring in the high right shoulder. What we're seeing a lot then, you get a mixture of shots, obviously you're gonna have, you know, no pressure on the ball, having to come from the outside, like things like that. And even with the driver, you know, it's probably about five degrees less, but you can sort of see this one here, you know, 18, 19 degrees. And that crossover this line, you just, you're not gonna hit it good from there. It doesn't matter what you do, guys. So I've got a drill now coming up just to help keep people's heads centered, keep them turning better, get better structure, helping them assemble their swings better at the top. And if you're after, if you want me to coach you, I can become your coach. I'm coaching people from all around the world and helping so many people. Guys, you know, you can be technical without being mechanical and uh, invest in your golf, all right? So when we're analyzing top players, we've got some of the best ball strikers in the world. Have a look at this, 10 degrees of the V1 analyzing system, get up to the top and the pelvis tilts 9.9. .9. I mean, that's uh, Ryan Ruffles. I mean, that, this is a, such a great ball strike. We've got so many other players there that we're analyzing. So get your hands on good information. As I said, you've got one goal swing, you've got one life, work on the right things, get inside these averages, you're gonna hit it good. Now guys, let's have a look at a drill here to get ourselves turning, tilting, arm straight, head still, all blended into one motion so we can slot this downswing. So guys, Better ball striking, right? We're gonna be looking here at a position at the top of your swing that makes it just simply much easier to hit clean, consistent shots. We're gonna be looking at the extension, the head position. 
and looking at where the left arm and the lead arm is. And we're seeing a lot of people out there struggling with head movement, left arm bending, and not getting the shape of the backswing. Once we get this in a really good place at the top, it makes it much easier to come down and hit positions auto automatically. Obviously, the less that we think about it, the better it is. So let's have a look at what we're seeing first up. And when I'm looking at golf swings, we're seeing, you know, a lot of people struggle, especially some of the senior players, but not just the senior players, and getting to the top and sort of losing their structure here. And we see that that right shoulder, you can still see it, right? So when you're looking at biomechanics and you're measuring the upper torso, you really want to get a number between 80 to 90 degrees with your iron shots. And that means getting this right shoulder back behind you. Now when you do that, you've got a good chance to create, you know, some good to assemble your swing correctly at the top. The other area is, of course, head movement. Where does it come from? I mean, obviously we can't, if we don't turn, we literally can't straighten that arm. It's impossible. But if we turn, we can still see people moving off the ball and swaying off the ball. And we don't want any sway and we don't want any movement with their head. But what we do to fix that is really get some right side extension. Now I'm gonna show you a drill, but right side extension, when you get up to the top, you're gonna to have the feeling that your chest is pointing up, your right hips up, and this acts as all, almost like a wall, right? So when we get that position right, combine this tilt, this extension with the turn, then you've got your head still, you've got your arms straight, you've, got, you've assembled your swing at the top, you can get it to collect, it's much easier. Guys, when we look at slow motion clips and we're analyzing swings, really there's a lot said for the downswing, but getting your backswing right sets off a wonderful chain reaction. This is the drill that we're going to be looking at now. What we do, and I'll show you from the back view just in a second, is we take the grip, put the club in front of you, split the hand so you've got the same grip, you can relate to it. The left arm straight, the right one's into your side. Right? Now I like this drill because you can work on a little bit of lead wrist flexion. You can bring the club in behind your hands into that go zone, right? But this is the drill that we're trying to do. So I'll just pop a ball in here. So take your grip, split it, get your hands about 10 centimeters apart. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. And join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. Swing back and you're trying to get this shaft to point around about a meter outside the ball. If it gets too flat, you're gonna have head movement. You've got no right side extension. All right, let's have a look at that again. Take your grip, wander into the middle of the, of the shaft here, swing back and turn that right shoulder behind you and you can just have a look where that points that grip and then you can just get in there and give it a bit of a feel where that is and you'll start to get some you know some hitting some good plane lines you can bring this club in behind your hands give it a bit of that reverse motorbike drill we're saying to get some shaft lean to get that compression so when we're looking at getting turns and the tilts this exercise is simply one of the best. You can create a great feeling here. Your shoulder's gonna be underneath your chin. You're turning that right, right shoulder behind you and you're giving yourself you know, a great chance to get this downswing right. Guys, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you're looking for a wonderful platform, worldclassgolf.com with myself and Dr. Rob Neal the biomechanics specialist. We've got a senior series coming out. We've got all sorts of incredible information, stuff that you really don't, won't find on YouTube. So guys, let's have a look now at some of that evidence-based instruction, get you on the path to playing some better golf.